The Lord says, keep vows, be careful of words. Matthew 5.33 Again ye have heard that it hath been said by them of old, Thou shalt not forswear thyself, but shall perform unto the Lord thine oaths. Matthew 5.34 But I say unto you, swear not at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne. Matthew 5.35 Nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Matthew 5.36 Neither shalt thou swear by thy head, because thou canst not make one hair white or black. Matthew 5.37 But let your communication be yea, yea, nay, nay. For whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. Matthew 5.38 Ye have heard that it hath been said, An eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. Matthew 5.39 But I say unto you, that ye resist not evil. But whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him the other also. Matthew 5.40 And if any man will sue thee at the law and take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. Matthew 5.41 And Whosoever shall compel thee to go a mile, go with him twain. Matthew 5.42 Give to him that asketh thee, and from him that would borrow of thee, turn not thou away. What it means to love thy neighbor. Matthew 5.43 Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. Matthew 5.44 But I say unto you, Love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Matthew 5.45 That ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he maketh his Son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. Matthew 5.46 For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same? Matthew 5.47 and if ye salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publican so. Matthew 5.48 Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. Thoughts on the works of Jesus thus far. We can identify how after Christ Jesus had his encounter with the devil, and especially after John the Baptist had been arrested by Herod, there appeared to be a momentum to Christ Jesus ministering with attention focused on the purpose for being sent. Healing sicknesses and many diseases also went along with Christ Jesus preaching the gospel of the kingdom. All that was prophesied was seen evident in Christ Jesus' life. Christ Jesus began gathering disciples and actively preaching the gospel of the kingdom to the children of Israel. For that is the reason why Christ said he was sent reason Christ Jesus sent clarified in Abraham. Matthew 15.24 
He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And for certain, as it was from the beginning for persons from all nations, cultures, wanted and were welcome to hear the gospel of the kingdom. In reality, the gospel of the kingdom was first preached to Abraham, and for that reason is everlasting. Yet the Jews being first recipients were chosen to disperse the gospel. Romans 1.16 For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Romans 2.10 But glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good, to the Jew first and also to the Gentiles. Romans 2.11 For there is no respect of persons with God. Romans 2.28 for he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh. Romans 2.29 But he is a Jew, which is one inward, and circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit, and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. The motivation for me to abide in always asking the question, what has the Lord said in every time dispensation, how God has declared himself to be, rests fully in the works of Christ Jesus. Romans 3.23 For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3. 24, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Romans 3.25, whom God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God. I am continually led to think of Christ Jesus, who is recognized as being the author of all precepts and principalities, that as the Son of Man lived the royal law that he had spoken in the wilderness and wrote with his finger. Romans 3.31 do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid, yea, we establish the law, leading to perform righteousness in honor of the Father in the way I viewed all the works of Christ Jesus, consisted of Christ revealing the spirit of the law, which is love.